Hey guys, today's play game of Prince of Persia, The Two Thrones. So this is the last in the trilogy of Prince of Persia games that was released by Ubisoft in the early 2000s. So the first one, Sands of Time, came out in 2003, then Warrior Within came out in 2004, this last one came out in 2005. And uh, yeah, I've not really played uh, through any of these games because, well, back then I was preoccupied with other games. Uh, but yeah, I remember seeing this game before and hearing about it. I'm, I'm a huge fan of Prince of Persia from the late 80s, the original one. Uh, so I didn't get to play this, uh, this rebooted version, but I've heard good things about it. So yeah, let's check it out. We all make mistakes. Some are small, some are large. Okay, let's get this. But his mistake, born of innocence, fueled by pride, was the greatest and most terrible of them all. Got even older. Of course, this is probably carry on from the end of uh, Warrior Within. Some believe the prince journeyed to the island of time to escape death, but he returned alone. The amulet destroyed, the Dahaka appeased, the Empress dead. The prince was free at last, but this is not how it happened. The truth is that he chose to save me from my destiny. In doing so, he set me free and doomed us all. Of all the possible futures, this one held the most promise that something has changed. Do not worry, Kylina. No harm will come to you in Babylon. I promise. Look, we are nearly home. As our ship lay sinking in the harbor, the prince found himself in a city quite different from the one he left behind. The normally busy wharves were now decimated. Blood-spattered awnings and splintered door frames were all that waited to greet him. And the people, merchants, beggars, fishermen, were nowhere to be found. Others had taken the place. So uh, I guess that starts off from the end of Warrior Within. I'm even more experienced and older looking and wiser now. <laughs> but yeah, Two Thrones, wow. Oh my god, this camera. Is this the same crappy camera as before? It's so weird, this camera control is just opposite of any other thing I've, any other game I've played. It's like, if I move the mouse to the right, the camera moves to the left. If I move the mouse to the left, the camera moves to the right. It's infuriating. It's like, I don't know why they would do it this way. Why would they do it this way? 
The dark side tabular had spent many late nights was now reduced to cinders. Babylon's proud armada, which he would often come to greet, lay cracked and broken. <coughs> oh, shit. Cast to the bottom of the Euphrates. I'm on the edge of glory. Living on order you. Okay, there it doesn't wall around here. Alright. Core, and yes, by the way, if you see something that's very similar to how Assassin's Creed works, that's because. Oh, I hate that. Um, it's because Prince of Persia is the predecessor to Assassin's Creed. Um, of course, they're both Ubisoft properties. And, uh, oh my god, I hate this. It's got the same quirks as Assassin's Creed, and the same type of. Yeah, running up walls and gameplay and climbing and stuff like that. The problem is with this mechanic, you see what happens? Uh, so, we run along the wall here. But the problem is, in order to actually run up the wall and climb something, be able to grab onto something, you have to press space. But the problem is, if you press space a little bit too soon, before you grab the top of the wall, you actually end up jumping from to the other side like this, right? And that's the issue here, right? If you end up pressing space at the wrong time, you'll end up jumping off the ledge into your doom. And unfortunately, Ubisoft has had these controls basically from the, from the from these first Prince of Persia games all the way to the most recent Assassin's Creed games, they've had the same basic controls, so it sucks. And uh, coupled with the annoying camera, I mean, this is the most annoying part of this, this game, I think. These games, I mean. Yeah, it's just, I can never get used to it. First of all, the backwards camera controls, and then that thing where you have to jump to the top of the... You have to climb up, and then hold on to the ledge at the top, but you also have to... You know, you have to press the same button as you would that would... That could ac accidentally launch you right off the ledge. And, yeah, if you just time it wrong, he'll... The guy will ac accidentally la launch himself off the ledge. And it's so annoying. Like, oh my god, this camera too. Yeah, these backwards camera controls, and just accidentally launching yourself off the ledge like that happens a lot to me and it's extremely annoying and I don't know why Ubisoft just doesn't change these controls it's been a it's been an issue since the beginning the controls that are awful like why would they keep it like this it's so easy to accidentally hit it where uh, you can accidentally jump jump off the ledge all right fine Everywhere there are signs of battle. What of Babylon's guard? Where Babylon, have they all is gone? That where I am? Okay, cool. Babylon. Yeah. Oh. Uh. Oh shit, what the heck? Damn it. Here, jump here. And the controls are really important in a game where you had to solve so many puzzles and avoid traps and stuff. Oh, I just can't believe they messed it up so bad. So bad. See, look, here you go again. He just accidentally pushes himself off, and it happens all the time. If you press the wrong, if you press space at the wrong time, he'll he'll just try to push himself off, and then even if it results in him dying, he'll do it. So, it's really annoying, especially when you need to press space all the time in order to, you know, jump off to the next ledge or whatever. So it's so easy to accidentally hit it. More towards rail to auto-climb. Okay. Do I need to do this? I see. Oh, nope. I did not do it. Okay, now let's go towards... There. See, so you had to pre you had to press space, but if you do it in uh, in the wrong time, then he'll just kill himself, which is extremely annoying. <laughs> what the heck? What's going on? Okay. Nope. Oh, so hard. So easy to accidentally hit, hit the wrong stuff. 
What of Babylon's guard? It's so easy Where to accidentally hit the wrong thing. Hardest part of this game, honestly, is accidentally hitting the wrong thing. <laughs> that is really annoying. Nope. Because I... See? I was facing the wrong way when that happened, apparently. Or pressing, like, the wrong direction. Oh my god, I had to face my camera in the proper direction first, before he'll make the proper jump. If you face your camera in the wrong direction, he might make the wrong jump. It's so easy for that to happen. Nope. Uh, okay. Jump up. Okay. Here we go to the other side. Yes, finally. We can drink some water to save the game and recover my health. Apparently water restores all everything. Shall I continue my story from here if you are called away? Oh, it doesn't restore my health, okay. I thought it does. It did in the other games. And what happened to this water? time disaster strikes, I find myself without a proper blade. Still, it's better than nothing. Speed kill, okay. That's slow motion. Oh. Oh. Okay, so it's a slow motion kill. Slow-mo kill. Okay, landscape camera. Let's see. That should be able to automatically do this. So I have to move my controls to that way, okay. Okay, let's do a speed kill here. Um, that's basically like the Assassin's Creed assassinate predecessor of that, I mean. Okay, how was I... S see, I was trying to zoom out the camera to see what was going on. I'm trying to zoom out the camera to see what was under, but it wouldn't let me zoom out. So, how was I supposed to know that? Why is it that every time disaster strikes, I find myself without a proper blade? Still better than nothing. Yeah, it's ridiculous. It wouldn't let me zoom out to landscape mode, so I couldn't see what was underneath me. So, I don't know how I'm supposed to know that. See? Here I can no longer zoom out to the landscape. So see how stupid and retarded this is? Like, they gave me the ability to zoom out from the landscape in order to see what was underneath me, right? And now, if I have a giant gaping hole here that I could jump up, that I could like fall underneath, they don't give me the ability to see what's underneath me. That means I have to basically take a risk if I accidentally lose, if I accidentally try to jump under here because, you know, there's a giant hole here, right? So I thought, oh, maybe I can go down here. If I try to do that, then I die, right? But there's no way I can know because they don't give me the option to zoom out to landscape mode anymore. So how am I supposed to know that that results in death, right? It just... Why don't they give me the option to do to look at landscape mode here? To, like, let me zoom out. I want to be able to see what's underneath me because there's a giant gaping hole there that I want to try to jump... to uh, go under, right? Go down. And they don't give me that option. So it's retarded. Okay. Um, jump on the ledge, okay? Hope that works, okay, cool. 
Let me kill this guy. Death. That coupled with the stupid camera controls, oh my god. Oh my god, I just missed it. Unbelievable. Oh, the camera. I hate the freaking camera. God damn. Alright. So annoying. Okay. Now let's try to do it again. Let's jump at the right time. There we go. Uh, everything's just about timing here. Just about timing. Why can't I no longer move? What? Oh my god. Okay, so now it's up and down in order to move. It used to be left and right, but now it's up and down in order to move left and right. Okay. These controls are absolutely ridiculous. Okay. I don't know why it's only for that area that it was up and down to move. <laughs> and not left and right, like you would think. It's not even consistent. Uh, okay. God, okay, let's get those guys. Kylina. No. They shall no not have her. City now. I will have to climb the siege tower and enter from above. Oh, the wall is the current. Okay. Well, Assassin's Creed, I think, definitely has more fluid controls than this. At least more consistent controls. Oh my god. Now I can pick up this weapon too. Now I got dual weapons. Dual weapons, okay. Got a scimitar. Picked up his scimitar. Okay, we gotta aim the camera in the right direction. Jump. There. I can sense the others who have passed through this place. Intent on bringing harm to my family. Uh, okay, let's see. There, okay. See, here you gotta go up and down. You gotta press up and down in order to move left and right. It makes no sense. Why not just make it left and right in order to move? But you gotta make it up and down in order to move left and right. Oh my god, makes no sense. Okay, here's a ladder. Let's see. Let's try to jump on that. Four weeks I've been at sea. First person. Okay, and every cool. day spent dreaming of my return to Babylon. But never, in all my visions of the future, did I suspect a homecoming such as this. War. Hey, that's it the tower, the right? Answer. The Tower of Babylon. But war with who? And why? That's the Tower of Babylon. That's told in biblical stories. Nice. Um. Where am I supposed to go from here? Okay, jumping. <coughs> Oh, okay, I see a ledge. No! Stop doing that. Just go up the ledge. Do not jump from the other side. Do not jump to the other side, you idiot. Ah! 
this controls. Come on, gotta aim the camera correctly. And then. Jeez, I think it's just because I didn't aim the camera correctly. You gotta aim the camera correctly, and then he'll do the right thing. Otherwise, he won't do the right thing. See my breakdancing moves there? not love that drove him, but duty. I was his responsibility. He had made a promise, a promise that was now broken and undone. As with all mistakes he had made, the prince meant to fix this. A noble goal to be certain. Okay, now left and right works. One as well. See, it's not inconsistent. It's not consistent. Well, he was motivated to ease his own pain. It's not consistent. Now left and right moves me left and right. But before, it was up and down that moved me left and right. So it's not con the controls are not consistent. Okay, well at least left and right works now, but why was it different before? It doesn't make sense. Come on, pull yourself up. This camera. Give me the proper angle, and then. Okay. Now which way? Do I need to go here or here? Here, I guess. No! Oh my god, you idiot! Oh my god, it's so stupid. Why would he jump that way? It's just the camera control, I think. I have to aim the camera exactly the right angle. You should know Otherwise, he's not going to jump at the right him, angle. But duty. It just... I was his responsibility. Oh he my god. A promise that was now broken and undone. As with okay. all mistakes he had made, the prince meant to fix this. Oh, you know what happened, a okay. Goal to be certain, but a selfish one as well. Okay, so... Well, he was motivated I, th to ease his own I think it's the camera angle. Okay, so... Now I'll move left and right using my left and right keys. But if I tilt the amera, camera at a different angle, it moves using the up and down keys. So basically, the keys that I can use is dependent on the camera angle that I use, which is retarded. Oh my god. That is retarded. See? I mean, it's just the camera angle affects me so much. And the camera is hard to control too. It's retarded, oh my god. Oh my god. This game is some of the most weirdest, most ununderstandable controls. So basically, when I'm moving along the edge, Depending on my camera, either up and down or left and right moves me left and right. So it depends, right? Sometimes the camera angle changes, I have to use up and down. Sometimes the camera angle changes, I have to use left and right. So the controls change based on what camera angle I'm using. Have you? Do you know any other game where the controls change based on the camera angle? It just doesn't make any sense. And I don't know, I'm not sure what to use here. Am I supposed to press down? Am I supposed to press right? Like. Yeah, that's the thing. If I press the wrong button here, he's going to jump the wrong way. So do I press down and jump or left and jump? I mean, sorry, right and jump. That's the problem. Okay, so here I'm not... I don't know. Is there... Okay, I'm going to try right and jump, right? Because he's facing right. Okay, there. I think last time I tried pressing down and jump, and then he jumped the wrong way, of course. So, oh, I can't believe how retarded this control state scheme is. I've never seen another game like this where the camera angle changes the controls. Like it can it literally changes what controls what. <laughs> oh my god, that's retarded. Okay, can I crouch? Nope. I don't know how to I know these angle. streets. Knew them anyway. I must keep pace with Kylina if I'm to find the one responsible for this. On top of that, okay, so the camera angle can it controls what controls are used to, to like control the character 
and it adding insult on top of injury like adding even more frustration on top of it is the fact that the camera controls are messed up so like I said moving my mouse left moves it right and moving my mouse right moves it left it's completely like un it's unlike any other game I've played so the camera controls are totally messed up and the camera controls what controls the character so oh my god it is frustrating man this game is so frustrating I mean the whole Princess Seri Prince of Persia series I think except for the first one the first one was not as frustrating because the camera was not able to be controlled but the two thrones and warrior within are so frustrating because you can control the camera and it's controlled in the most like ununderstandable way <laughs> it just doesn't make sense the way they control it okay Yeah, at least combat is okay. At least combat's fine, but the problem is most of the game is based on movement, right? And that's where the movement control is like, a little bit messed up. Okay. Is it because it's a port? Like, why is this PC port so bad then? PC controls are so bad. Move to look above. Okay. Got it. I guess. Nope. Whoa. Whoa. Okay, I can do this. I can like do like this. Huh. anymore. See, why is it so inconsistent? Why can I not pick up his weapon anymore? I was able to do that before, and now I can't. See, it's so inconsistent. The controls are so inconsistent. Um, okay, what am I supposed to do? Okay, here. No, what the heck? Oh, I can't wall run at that part. Why? Why well, cannot wall run at that part? I can wall run at every other part, but I can't wall run at that part for some reason. Oh my god. Okay. I don't know if I want to keep playing this. <laughs> this is just so frustrating. It's. It really is so frustrating. Yeah. Anyways, guys, this is Prince of Persia, the Two Thrones. Um, yeah, I mean. But this tale is far from over. Yeah, I know, but I don't know if I can stand playing this much longer. Yeah, Two Thrones. I mean, I think this is a good game if it was on the con. I mean, the console versions I think would be good, right? Prince of Persia, Warrior Within, Two Thrones. I think the console versions would be a lot better than the PC versions because the PC version seems messed up. Like, it's obviously optimized for console, but on the PC, my camera controls are totally messed up and my movement controls are totally messed up because the movement depends on the camera and yeah, my camera controls are messed up and then the changes is not consistent. So that's my frustration with this game. I'm sure on console it's a great game, but 
Yeah, uh, just like the Warrior Within and Two Thrones, these are my, my issues with these two games. I think Sands of Time is fine because the camera can't really be controlled that well. I mean, you can't really control the camera much in that game, so that's fine. And the, the controls are consistent in Sands of Time, but... Warrior Within and Two Thrones, I, know, I feel like the PC port got messed up or something. So that's it guys, Two Thrones, thanks for watching, the last in the trilogy.